Resident Evil Dead Aim is another addition to Resident Evil's light gun shooter library. Just like Survivor 2 Code Veronica, the game allows the player to use a light gun to dispose of the various enemies in the game. If you don't own a light gun, like I do, you will have to make do with the gamepad's joystick. As you can see right now, you will move through the game in a third person perspective, just to switch to a first person perspective while engaging in combat. A bit like Resident Evil Gaiden. But let's take a look at the game's story, shall we? Resident Evil Dead Aim takes place four years after the events of Resident Evil and opens with a narrator telling us the premise of the story. A group of terrorists stole samples of the T-Virus from the Umbrella HQ in Paris and they released part of that batch on an Umbrella-owned sea cruiser, the Spencer Rain. At the cruiser, we are introduced to our main character, Bruce McGiven. He is part of an US agency trying to stop a aforementioned terrorist group from launching virus-carrying missiles. Bruce is held at gunpoint by the game's bad guy, Morpheus D. Duell. Morpheus is a former Umbrella employee and the leader of the thieving terrorist group. The evil Legolas clone is trying to shoot Bruce, but a mysterious lady crashes the party with a grenade. This lady later turns out to be Fong Ling, a Chinese spy. She is our second main character and from time to time we will get to see the game's events from her perspective. But let's carry on. Bruce has to fight his way through the zombie infested cruiser while being stopped by the typical Resident Evil roadblocks. Most of the time he has to find a certain item to use said item to unlock a new path. While our duo is making its way to the bridge of the ship, we get to observe Morpheus as he's injecting himself with some mystery juice. Oh yes, I'm sure this is going to turn out great. Just ask William Birkin. And look, it changed him into a woman? Why does he have tits? I have so many confused feelings right now. Nice. The Spencer Rain is about to crash into an island and Bruce and Fong Ling try to escape just to be stopped by a tyrant. Great. The ship wrecks and Bruce and Fong Ling get separated. This would be a good point to mention the spooky sound design of the game. That's actually pretty good. Bruce manages to contact his friends back home and he learns that the Chinese government paid a billion dollars to the terrorists, making Fong Ling expandable. They now try to assassinate her with a killer satellite. That's pretty cool. Bruce comes to the rescue and gets a little bit rapey, but he manages to remove a microchip from her, duping the Chinese into thinking that they killed her. The duo makes its way through an underground laboratory and we learn that Morpheus was responsible for the Raccoon City outbreak. That's weird. I thought Dr. Marcus was responsible for that. Never mind. While Fong Ling gets kidnapped by Morpheus, Bruce has to deal with this guy. On his way to the final fight against Morpheus, Bruce gets to pick up this awesome laser gun. After defeating the bad guy, we now have to rush to disarm the virus missiles. Guess what? Morpheus isn't done with us and transforms into the blob. Yeah, we get it. Bruce destroys the bad guy and delivers what could be the worst one-liner in the franchise. Sorry, but my dance card is full. The underwater laboratory explodes and our heroes make their escape in a magically appearing submarine. They decide to victory bang on the open sea and everything is lovely once again. Well, that was Resident Evil Dead Aim. It's certainly better than Survivor 2 and like always, I'm sure the game would be more fun using a light gun. Don't get me wrong, it's still awesome to blow off zombie hats. The change of perspective during combat needs a little bit of getting used to though. The game itself looks okay, it's an early 2000s PS2 game after all, but there is one thing that irks me. Is it just me or do the characters necks look kinda wrong? Talking about wrong, the game's voice acting and subtitles don't match. And I mean, they don't match at all. Cooperation is too much to ask for on our first day. Fast. As I said, useless. No. I'm going home. I belong to China. What the fuck went wrong here? But hey, at least the song at the end sounds cool. Altogether, I would say that Resident Evil Dead Aim is... Meh.